Alright, so, um, I've been, um, looking at the top NFL top 100 because they always make these lists, like, every year, and they rank the 100 best players of the year, or, like, going into next year and stuff. But, um, the one thing I have to ask is, like, why was Tom Brady so high? I don't really understand. Um, like, these people literally, like, are so biased. Like, they literally r meat ride this dude Brady, and it's so... Like, overrated, bro. This dude, Tom Brady, is the most overrated quarterback I've, like, ever seen, bro. Um, just like, bro, Josh Allen, Deshaun Watson, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen. Like, they were, they were literally all better than this dude. Like, he wasn't even a top five quarterback this year. So how is he seventh on the list? That makes no sense. Um, like, literally, Josh Allen was, like, what, 13th or something? He literally should be higher than Brady. Like... I don't understand, bro. Um, I'm glad Derrick Henry was higher than Brady. He won Offensive Player of the Year, so and he rushed for 2,000 yards. So it would make no sense if he didn't win Offensive Player of the Year, bro. But like, bro, like it's literally near impossible to put Brady this high on the list, bro. This dude was on a super team, a super team, bro. They have the best receiving core in the league. They have one of the best O lines. They have one of the best defenses in the entire league, like. Every part of their team is elite. Like, they literally, like, Antonio Brown, he was on track to be the greatest receiver, like, w one of the greatest receivers of all time before he went crazy and stuff. Like, Mike Evans, he's played seven years. Every year he's had a 1,000 yards. Like, <laughs> the best receiving core in the league. The A top five defense, a top five offensive line. Like, literally a pretty good rushing team with him, too. Like, just, it's all around team is just packed, bro, like, like, it honestly wouldn't have made no sense that Brady didn't win with this team, um, and I honestly expect Tampa Bay to win next year, too, because, like, they're bringing back the exact same team that they had last year with them this year, too, but, um, just so overrated, bro, like, it, Brady's been on literally packed teams his entire career, um, like, literally put this dude on a team that doesn't have like, literally maybe one or two. Like, there's not been more than two years that this dude has not had an elite defense or an elite O-line, bro. The dude is just so overrated, dude. The greatest tight end of all time has been on his team. Um, a top two tight end of all time has been on his team. Robert Gronkowski, arguably the best of all time. Like, elite receivers, like, <sighs> this doesn't make sense, bro. You have Randy Moss, bro. Like... And the whole 11-5 and five logic in 2008 when um, Brady got injured. Um, people say that's stupid, but it also isn't because the exact... The very next year with that exact same offense from 2007, his team went 10-6. and six. So, I don't care, bro. He's overrated. He's the most overrated quarterback, I think, of all time, honestly. But, um, yeah. I mean, I literally could, like... I could even spit even more facts about this stuff, but, like... I'm not going to make that. It's going to be an entire, like, 40-minute video. I'm just going to keep rambling on. So, yeah. Overrated. Should not even been in the top seven on the top 100. Most overrated quarterback. Probably the most overrated NFL player of all time. Not even the best quarterback ever. Let's be honest.